Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? I hope you are having an amazing day. Today is uh, Nowruz, the Persian New Year that marks the beginning of spring and it is celebrated by millions of people around the world as a time of renewal, rejuvenation, and new beginnings. It's a time for families that come together, exchanging visits, sharing meals, just like our New Year in many other countries, and engaging traditions uh, that symbolize the rebirth of nature and the start of a new year. So everyone has got traditions, everyone has got their own rituals. So from cleaning home, which is Khanetekuni, <laughs> and uh, setting up half seen, which is uh, the seven seasonings, uh, seven symbolizing renewal, uh, of a new year uh, from our sombol, which is the flower of renewal from the golden fish and seep, which is apple, the beginning of life, seke, which is uh, the symbol of prosperity and money, and of course the Goran and uh, the haftzin itself. So everything, there's seasonings and everything that we do symbolizing a beautiful celebration that embodies hope, optimism, and the promise of a fresh start. So I hope you celebrate not only no ruse, not only this beginning of spring and renewal, you know, we talk about uh, moving forward in life and how do we move forward in life. It's always about peeling away, shedding and letting things go in order for you to come to an evolving. As the work that I do as a clinical hypnotherapist working with my clients, it's always about that because when they come to me, it's uh, wanting the change, it's more than wanting the change, is a need for a change. And yet so many of us um, are afraid of change, right? So what exactly is change? Change is that there is a factor, not only psychological, but social, uh, aspect of change that so many like dread change and yet change is everywhere. The seasons change. We change clothes every day. We change hairstyles every day. We change home. We change uh, our habits and behaviors and everything. Why? Because one, we want something new and refresh right? And we want to blossom into a new way of being because no matter what it is, when you come to me for um, hypnotherapy, stress management, or any kind of a coaching, it's because you are in a position that you want something better, not necessarily good or bad, something better, healthier, um, in a better way to not only evoke, to come to embrace, so that you can evolve to a healthier way of lifestyle. So why is it so hard for change to happen? Because I believe change is that fear of the unknown when we say, are you ready for transformation? You know. Um, so many people in the development industry, self-help industry, or any kind of a therapy, um, they hesitate. Uh, and you may feel the same. I don't know. Are you open to change? Or do you hesitate uh, or dread change? Change, that factor of the unknown is, is 
stepping into that place of not knowing, evoking feelings of uncertainty and perhaps even fear. Because as human beings, we have this natural inclination towards uh, familiarity and things that are predictable. And when you can't see around the corner, when you don't know, that factor in itself creates hesitation. And yet, you are hungry for that transformation for that change to move towards that part. So a lot of uh, I've had um, people ask me, will I lose control when I am hypnotized? That loss of control also is something that it's like change can disrupt your sense of control over your life or over when it's during the session and when things change uh, you may feel like you have less influence or authority over what you already had and that change may be like uncertain create more uncertainty because change is also coming out of your comfort zone right people tend to develop this comfort zone and being in that comfort zone, no matter if it is paining you, at least you know what the pain is. As a domestic abuse consultant, one of the things that it's hard to change is I know what I expect I know what's coming and I can deal with this, but if I rock the boat, I don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, the ramifications might be something that I am unfamiliar, but as long as I am here, I, I can deal with this until you no longer can. See, because when the pain gets so bad, it's time to do something about it. And it can be either in a, that kind of a negative domestic uh, abusive relationship. It can be a self abusive relationship when people who go into self destructive habits, cutting or any other self destructive habits, it's in a way that pains them and yet they know how to pain that that in itself if you or someone you know is doing this then what what it is there's a this underlying subconscious need to feel and to feel either pain or love at that moment it's a pure focused attention for what it is being felt so developing this sense of urgency that's why when people come to hypnotherapy is because of a need not so much of the want um, it's coming out of your comfort zone and that's a change that is much needed and feared another one is this facing the change, the challenges, the existing beliefs, values, and assumptions of that because everything that I do is either with weight or smoking and everything is that emotional connection to the habit, to the behavior. So in a way, it's becoming emotionally detached from what you have been attached to. Let me say that again. It's that emotional detachment from attaching to a behavior or a habit that you have created within yourself for a good reason and you feel comfortable in it that is no longer working for you. 
And if this resonates with you, by all means, you can say yes, you can raise your hand and realize that when it gets to that point that is hurting you more than it is giving you the pleasure or the reward, it is time for you to make that change. It's like change is such a natural thing. Flowers open because it is time to open. Flowers never fear someone is going to come and stomp on them. Flowers never fear or even plants or even grass that grows. Never thinks that, oh my God, someone is going to come and mow me a week from now. They just grow because the plants, the seeds have been planted. The fertilizer has been there. The sun is shining and it's the natural way for the grass to grow, right? And that's exactly who you are, who we are as humans. A child never thinks twice of giggling when they are happy or crying when they are in need in hungry or discomfort. It's when we become putting, when we start putting those judgments and analyzing, uh, criticizing, reasoning parts of it as, as adults, that's when we change things and want to modify it to fit in to our expectations. So that emotional connection, change can disrupt that attachment, which leads to feeling of loss or grief. But what is it that you're grieving? Are you grieving that extra weight that you are holding on to? Are you grieving that two packs of cigarettes? What would happen if you let it go? Are you grieving the pain that you are going through? And if you are, realize that when you let it go, that when you come through the chrysalis from that discomfort, detach yourself from that emotional connection to where it was, to that behavior or habit, you will blossom. Another one is that change truly often involves that uncertainty, um, taking that risk and, you know, it is we as humans take that risk every single day. We do. Uh, let me shut this. I don't know why we have the volume so high, but despite all this, we take risks, we make changes, we want to blossom. And I know you do too. So change is an inherent part of our life. And it is essential for you to adapt and grow and truly progress. Uh, what is it that they say? It's um, the wake of a boat going upstream it's never backwards because the wake is behind us and the boat is always the motorboat, the ship. Everything moves forward and so do we. So learning to embrace change and renewal and uh, rather than resist it leads to your own personal development and resilience. There is nothing more beautiful than, I say, there is nothing better than, uh, nothing trumps uh, than self-pride. When you are proud of yourself. Uh, one of my clients I adore came to me for uh, wanting to drop weight. And so we worked on that. We worked on um, peeling away uh, so many layers and through that uh, realizing that being in a corporate world for so many years and wanting not to deal with what's happening at home 
right? So she packed on a lot of things that she didn't want to deal with. I don't want to change. I don't want to rock the boat. What's happening inside the house. The house was full of clutter and everything. So as she started decluttering her home, decluttering her bedroom, decluttering the way she thinks. And now that she is, uh, um, retired that's the word <laughs> i don't know why i couldn't come up with the word now that she is retired she is taking care of herself tending to herself being kinder to herself and embracing the change and in less than four months she's dropped approximately 18 pounds that's significant you know why it's not so much about the weight the heaviness but she, what she was carrying, and she was carrying a lot of secrets that in the past she didn't want to change or rock the boat, but now she can't wait to start living instead of existing. Again, if this resonates with you, by all means, you can say yes, you can show me by um, an emoji and share with me what part of today about change about in being inspired about wanting to step forward in life and embracing everything not only springing forward in life but celebrating you are you ready to do with that i want to say thank you for being a part of heel talk tuesdays because I too am making a change and uh, will be springing forward with a whole new different. I've been doing this uh, Heel Talk Tuesdays for approximately seven years and come April we'll be se celebrating seven years and it's time for a change. So stay tuned and you will know more. Until then, um no happy noruz mubarak boshe baraye hamegi shoma tamam famila va dostaye ke man daram khuda hafiz uh and god bless you and may the universal light surround you always bye bye thank you for being here if you want to check out some of the testimonials that i've got click right here but if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago two weeks ago even a year ago click right here see you next time